took me roughly two and a half years to cross the entire continent by foot. What I was looking for was life. I was looking for, you know, what does the rest of the world um, have? What are they experiencing? And I wanted to be a part of that. So to me, this overrid all the materialistic things that I possessed in, in Canada. And I wanted to get rid of this life and move into a life of experience. There were times where I'm walking and I'm thinking to myself, why am I doing this? I could just stop. <laughs> but every time I feel pain, or every time I feel like I want to quit, I push even harder. So this is how I felt in the desert. When I felt drained, when I felt dehydrated, when I started to feel lethargic and my head's going down like this, I felt all of a sudden this urge to stand up and move faster. I think we need to take care of each other a lot more. Not just our surrounding families, but we need to take care of each other as a human race, as a human species. If we go back about 75,000 years ago, scientists believed that there were around 200 to 2,000 humans left on the planet. We almost went extinct. And all of a sudden, we found ourselves out of this extinction. We were a common family. We separated ourselves. And I believe with technology, we're coming back together. <laughs>